Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm gonna take one of your digital paintings, analyze it a little bit, do a little constructive criticism, and see what can be done to improve it. You'll learn how to take your drawings to a more finished level, and also see what I would have done differently. Cause I'm gonna paint your artwork to make it look kick-ass. If you're new to this channel and love art-related content, hit that subscribe button so we can begin. Okay, so without wasting any more of your time, let's do this. So you guys have shared some really interesting artworks on the Discord. Nice job. It was so hard for me to select just one. I could have selected and painted over two to three artworks, but I didn't want to drag this video for too long. So maybe I'll paint some of them in the later videos. But for this particular video, I am going to be painting over this rock creature, golem, whatever the hell this is called. It's made by Isidoro. Good job, mate. Really nicely done. Really interesting design. He looks kind of like a cursed knight who is turned into stone. And apparently he draws his energy from his stomach right here. Hmm. One of his hands is actually a weapon. I like that. Love the cracks and stuff running through the body. I mean, this will be really fun to paint over. But first, let's identify some problems. So this character doesn't seem to go well with the environment. To create one unified artwork, we need to merge the character more into the environment, which means the color and light on both of them should match. Secondly, the upper part of this creature doesn't quite match with the lower part of the arms. The difference in color is pretty noticeable. And I'd also want to change how the rocks are rendered. Maybe change the shapes a little bit, make some cracks or texture on them. Let's see. Let's get this to Photoshop and get this party started, my friends. But before I start painting, I'd like to mention that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people who like to learn new stuff every day. It's perfect for artists like you and I because it offers thousands of inspiring classes on all sorts of topics like illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing and more. And these classes are created by extremely talented experts who have a lot of experience in what they are teaching. You guys have always been asking me about where to learn digital painting, concept art and illustration in an organized and detailed manner. And I'm telling you, this is the perfect place to start learning this stuff in detail. For example, here's a class that I recently took. It's called Digital Painting Concept Landscapes. And it's from the artist Jonas Rowe, who truly has been an inspiration for me for many, many years. In this class, he paints an incredible concept art piece from start to finish in real time, no skipping, no time lapses perfect for getting a grasp of the whole process so do check this one out because it's literally packed with information skillshare is really affordable it's less than ten dollars a month on an annual subscription use the link down in the description to get yourself a free skillshare premium membership i've been told that it's for a limited time so do yourselves a favor click on the link down below join skillshare learn new stuff every day and improve your craft the first thing to do in this painting is to add some blue tones to the image. So I'm gonna select a round brush with a blue color, set the layers blending mode to multiply and paint some blues over the artwork. This immediately builds up some interest in the painting because of this saturated blue color. After that, I erased that blue just from behind this character to create a little contrast between this saturated blues of this creature and more grayish blues of the background. Then I'm gonna revisit the shape design of the helm, work on some little details I also darkened the eyes for now because I'll just create these later. Now I'm gonna correct the shapes of these rocks that make his shoulder and I'm gonna add appropriate shadows where needed. It really helps if I see these rocks as an object with several planes. So the plane which is exposed to the light the most, which is the upper plane, will be lighter and the planes which are not exposed to the light directly are gonna be a bit darker. And the areas where not enough light can reach are gonna be the darkest, which is exactly what I'll try to do here. Next, I'm working on the arms, adding more light and shadow, a little contrast, and also making them a little bluish, kind of close to the upper body's color. Alright, looking good so far, but still requires a lot of work. 
I'm working on the legs now. Also redesigning the shapes of these rocks, thinking of them as combination of different planes with light and shadow. Whatever I did with the arms, I am doing the exact same thing with the legs, which is to add more contrast, think of light and shadow and match the color to the rest of the body. Now with a small brush, I am zooming into the piece and working on some smaller, finer details between the rocks, the small crevices and cracks. I also feel like the head is too big, so I'm gonna scale it down a bit. This will make the body look much larger as compared to the head, making the creature look gigantic. We always tend to see stuff relative to each other, so this is a nice little trick to really sell the idea of scale. I also added another rock on the left shoulder in order to balance the visual weight between both shoulders. I thought it would be a good idea to paint some smaller rocks on these dark blue areas under the chest. So let's move on to the environment. So I am adding a couple of shapes around the character trying to point them towards him. This really helps with keeping the viewer's eye focused in the middle of the composition and not wander away from the canvas. I also added a bit of shadow on the ground to make the character fit better in the environment. I made the shapes in the foreground a bit darker as compared to the ones in the background. After that, I'm gonna make selection around the whole character cause you know, I didn't get a PSD file for this artwork, only a JPEG, so I'll have to do this. Bear with me. Wait for it and it's done. I will put this selected character on a separate layer, make a new layer underneath it and paint some lighter tones in the background so that it creates a more interesting contrast between the character and its environment. I'm now gonna darken the edges of this artwork using a dark blue color and layers blending mode set to multiply. Now, I'm so glad I already made that selection so I'm gonna select the character, grab a large round brush and darken the lower areas of the character. This will make the silhouette read better against this background. Now let's remove these crosses on the helm for now. I'll put them back later on but right now I am focusing on painting the highlights. Using the same lighter color I am also painting some lines, some texture on the rocks. Now let's darken the areas beneath the helm, add some smaller rocks here and there and then correct the shape of this big hole in this poor guy's stomach. So more finer details on the edges of the rocks and on the shoulders and also on the helm. With a small brush and light color selected, I'm adding some highlights on arms and the legs and then moving on to the cracks in the chest. I really like this idea of some blue light thing through the cracks, so I'm filling these cracks with that light blue energy type thing, some sort of a magic substance which is powering up the whole creature. And now for the fun part, let's do some light effects and for that I selected a round brush, turned the opacity down to 28, picked up a blue color, set the layers blending mode to color dodge and painted very lightly over that blue substance. Look how it just lit up the whole thing, I love it. And now for the eyes, same light blue color. So I thought it would be really cool to actually make the crosses on the helm in a way that they seem more like cracks, which is exactly what I did here and I think it looks cool. So the colors look good at this point and I can totally go with this but I really want to try some color lookups so I added this teal color to the artwork. After that I picked up a soft brush with a bright blue color set it to overlay and added some saturated blues to the mix. I erased the access by the way. I totally forgot that ball of energy in the middle of this hole right here so let's create that. Looking good. Now for the final touches, I'm gonna add some white rim light on the side of this character and also some white highlights on the ground. I must say that I really had so much fun painting over this artwork, even more than I expected. If you guys want me to select one of your artworks to paint over, head over to my discord channel and drop your artworks there. I'll pick one up for one of my later videos and we'll possibly have some fun with it. So the link to the discord is down below. And also guys, once again, do not forget to get your free 
trial of premium Skillshare membership through the link below. I'm telling you it's gonna be the best decision you'll make today. So this piece is pretty much done. I want to thank all of you for your amazing artworks that you put up on Discord. If you want me to paint over one of your artworks, make sure you join the Discord and post some cool paintings there so I can see them. I love how this one turned out. Let's have a final look at it. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned a few things along the way. If you did, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up to help me beat this monstrosity called the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, your suggestions, what you liked about this video, what you want to see in the next video. And if you're new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so whenever I post new content, you get notified. And with that being said, I'll see you in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.